Hi guys, welcome back to Garage Tech. In this video, I'll be doing a review on these LED headlight bulbs from Vivenzi. So thanks to the team for sending me a set um, so I can check them out for you. I've got a link in the description so you can uh, purchase your own set. And I've also got a discount code as well. So go check that out. They do worldwide shipping. Um, so these are their new V45 series and they come in all the most popular fitments. So that's H4, H7, H11, H1, etc. So all the most popular uh, fitments for your headlight bulbs. So these are actually rated at 600K. So it's a nice, crisp, bright white light. And both bulbs together will put out around about 220,000 lumens. So it's really nice and bright. Um, these have also an inbuilt fan in it as well to try and keep it nice and cool because if, if they start to overheat that will then reduce the light output and also then it helps to not melt your headlamps. Um, these fans actually spin up to 150,000 RPM and they actually are nice and quiet as well so they don't make a lot of noise and obviously that extra additional cooling helps prolong the life of these bulbs. They're rated up to 100,000 hours of use and these particular ones, they also come with a three year warranty. Now, these particular bulbs don't come with an inbuilt CAN bus decoder or a resistor. So if you've got a vehicle that has got a bulb warning light system on it, you may find that sometimes these bulbs may flicker or they can start to turn off. So if you're not sure, get that checked out. Um, Vivenzi actually sell a decoder kit or alternatively, you could just get your bulb warning system decoded from your car. Okay, so that's enough of that. I'm going to be fitting these to a Peugeot 308. That's a 2013 model year. And these are the H7 fitment. Just a word of warning, some H7 bulbs on some cars, you may need an additional adapter to actually fit it into the car. So just check that out before you actually uh, buy it. But actually, these are really simple to fit. It's no different to changing uh, a normal headlight bulb on, on any car. So just check that out. Um, I'm going to do a comparison between uh, the LED bulb and the normal genuine um, halogen bulb. I'm going to have a look at the beam pattern and the light output and we'll do a comparison of the two. Okay, let's go check it out in the car. Hi guys, so welcome back now. So we're going to have a look at these headlamp bulbs. So I'm on this Peugeot 308. So just to show you the difference between the two. So obviously this is my LED headlamp bulb from um, Bivenzi. So this is what we're going to fit. I've fitted one already to one side. And this is the um, genuine headlight bulb. So obviously it's a H7 uh, fitment. So just so you can see that. Now they are a little bit tricky to actually fit because of, don't forget you've got this um, fan that sits at the back. So it makes it a little bit tricky when trying to get the clips on. So you really need some strong uh, fingers to get those uh, in. But I'll just show you um, the fitment so you can see that. So just bear with me whilst the camera goes upside down. So just showing you on this side. So you can see obviously the connector. It's quite straightforward to put the, put the um, connector on. Now, you just need to be careful because obviously LEDs, they need to work in the right polarity. So if they don't work straight away, try um, switching this round. Um, I'm just going to be tucking this just inside the actual um, headlamp inside there. So it's all tucked away nice and neat. But I've left it out just so I can show you. Um, I'm just going to flick you upside down here so you can just see what the headlamp looks like when it's fitted in place. So you can see it just there. So you can see the fan on the back and the heat shrink. As I said, it's just sometimes a bit tricky getting those clips in. So you can just see them at the top. Just need to make sure they're clipped in and it's a bit tricky getting that clip um, over. Okay, so that's it. I've done this side. So I wanna just do a quick comparison between this side and the other side now. So I'm just gonna turn the headlamps on uh, so you can see it. So just switch the headlamps on now. Look, and you can see the difference um, between the two. I'm sure you'll admit there is um, quite a big staff uh, stark difference between the two there. The white looks really, really crisp, nice white light compared to that halogen bulb which was there. So, just take so you can see that. Yeah, a view of the uh, brightness difference. Okay, um, so what I'm going to do now is just have a look at the headlamp alignment so we can have a look at the beam pattern between the two. So, I'm just going to use this headlamp aligner to adjust it and set it up. So, just bear with me once I set this up. So set it up so it's in the middle of the headlamp and then we can have a look at the beam pattern. So you can see there, this is coming out at a 106. Um, you normally find with these, the beam patterns are really good, nice crisp um, lines when you're using the halogen bulb. So you can see exactly where that is. Nice crisp uh, beam pattern. Now if we compare that now to our LED. So again, I'm just gonna line this up. 
beam pattern this side. So this is coming out at 84. You can see the beam pattern on this, not as crisp as the genuine um, halogen bulb, but still pretty good beam pattern. It's got the kick up over on the left uh, hand side. And you can see the kick up there is just a little bit high. You can see there. So I just need to do a little bit of adjustment on the kick up. It's just about on the top of that line. So the kick up over here needs to be um, just in between that um, kind of C um, mark there. So you can see where that is. So it's just about on that um, kind of top uh, line there. So we just need to do a little bit of adjustment to bring it down a little bit and um, see if we can get that kick up in the right place. But I'll just go back to the other one. <clears throat> laser back on there we go. you can see not as clear on the kick up on this side but you can see where the kick up is just in between the C okay so it says 15% uh, kick up limit so that just means the kick up basically lights up the side of the road so if you could go and drive uh, the car on um, the right hand side of the road so you're in uh, Europe etc then obviously the kick up needs to go on on the other side so you're lighting up the uh, curb side or the bushes uh, rather than blinding the oncoming traffic okay so that's how that works so we're all good then with the um, alignment just a bit more adjustment on that one just, uh, just so you can see the difference between the two and I'll agree that actually these uh, LED headlamp bulbs do look really good so we'll get some pictures now at night so we can see what the difference is um, between daytime and nighttime what you can see is that the LEDs light up the floor a lot better. Uh, it's a lot brighter, you can see in, in the floor in front, but the halogens seem to have a bit of a crisper line. Now I did adjust the LEDs right down to the lowest setting. Okay, so the other thing I'm gonna look at is just check the temperature of these bulbs that actually on the headlamp. So I'm gonna use my LED, um, my laser heat gun here so you can check the temperature. So you can see around the actual bulb here, uh, about 40 of degrees, 42, 43. And on the top. So you can see that's getting quite hot. If I move over to the LED one, so it's actually a lot cooler. What I measured was that actually you get a bit more heat kind of on the top up here rather than uh, down where the projector of the actual lens is. So no worries about melting the um, front of the actual headlamp. The only thing is at the back here, you can see the box does get quite warm. And obviously at the back where the bulb is. You can see that on the back of that bulb there. Right, I'll just get in the back of this actual bulb and check the temperature uh, in the back here. Degrees. So you can definitely, definitely feel a heat difference, particularly at the front here. That's why these headlamps start to go a bit funny. You can see on the inside, just because of the actual heat that's coming out of the projector of the actual lens. So you can feel it. It is actually quite warm compared to uh, this side. But actually, it's nice, nice and cool. So again, 24 degrees. Whereas this one. 40 degrees, 43. Okay. Okay, and then guys, that's pretty much it. So thank you for watching. If you like these um, videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button, give us a thumbs up and put your comments below. Thanks, take care.